Today, we've got some fresh updates on the Galaxy S25 Plus that you don't want to miss. Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S25 lineup has been a hot topic lately, and for good reason. Rumors have been swirling around that Samsung is going all in on Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset for the Galaxy S25 series, but recent leaks suggest a surprising twist. The Exynos 2500 chip, Samsung's in-house processor, might still be in the mix, at least in one major region. Let's break down what this could mean for Galaxy S25 Plus users. So here's the big news. A variant of the Galaxy S25 Plus purportedly bound for Europe has surfaced on Keepbench's database and it's not running on the Snapdragon 8 Elite like many expected. Instead, it features the Exynos 2500 chip. This variant, with the model number SMS936B, hints at Samsung bringing back their dual chip strategy where different regions get different processors. Now, this isn't entirely unexpected. Samsung has used this approach in the past, but it's still interesting because for a while, the company seemed to be leaning toward a single chip solution exclusively powered by Snapdragon. Let's dive into what makes the Exynos 2500 stand out. According to the Geekbench listing, the Exynos 2500 features a 10 core CPU divided into four clusters. One, the main core is clocked at a powerful 3.3 gigahertz. Two, then we have two high-performance cores running at 2.75 GHz, three, and five more performance cores running at 2.36 GHz, four. Finally, two power-efficient cores run at 1.8 GHz to handle less intensive tasks and save battery life. The phone is also listed with 12 GB of RAM and is running on Android 15. In terms of raw numbers, the Exynos 2500 posted a single core score of 2,359 and a multi-core score of 8,141 on Keepbench 6. To put that into perspective, while these numbers are decent, they're still slightly lower than the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 and Snapdragon 8 Elite. But keep in mind that this is a pre-production model likely running on early software. Historically, Samsung's Exynos chips have seen performance improvements by the time they reach consumers, so these benchmark numbers might not be final. One of the most exciting at production yield of these chips. In fact, some speculated that low yields might force Samsung to abandon the Exynos 2500 for the Galaxy S25 series altogether. But seeing this chip on the Galaxy S25 Plus heatbench listing is a sign that things might not be as grim as initially thought. While the Galaxy S25 Plus may vary by region, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is rumored to go with the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip across all markets. With the Galaxy S25 series rumored to launch in January 2025, we're just a few months away from seeing these phones officially. And as more information surfaces, we'll get a clearer picture of how Samsung's Exynos 2500 stacks up against the Snapdragon 8 Elite. So, what do you think? Is Samsung's dual-chip strategy a smart move, or would you prefer the Galaxy S25 series to go all-in with Snapdragon? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on the latest mobile tech. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Now let's dive into the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting-edge features and exceptional performance. But which one takes the crown as the best big phone of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163 millimeters at 77.6 millimeters, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter, but a bit wider at 162.3 millimeters x 79 millimeters. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display, 
Now, onto the display. Both phones deliver top-tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9-inch OLED display with a buttery smooth 120 Hz refresh rate. As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always-on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just 1 Hz when the phone is idle. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8-inch OLED display that also supports 120 Hz refresh rates and an always-on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's 18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45-watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20-watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.